welcome back. We got back from the Merritt Reservoir, this like beautiful little lake in the sand hills. Filleted our walleye. I feel like my favorite way to eat, you know, like these light, delicate, flaky fish is beer battered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a real light beer batter with this jalapeno ale from Kincater Brewing uh, out of Broken Bow, Nebraska. It's a small little craft brewery. Just a hop, skip, and a jump uh, from the ranch here. I'm gonna start with flour. Equal parts cornstarch. And that cornstarch, what it's gonna do is it's gonna help bind everything together, but it's gonna make this batter like kind of light and airy and fluffy and delicate so that it's not too, uh, not too dense. Pinch of salt. Crack this beer open. Splash of vinegar. A little bit of orange zest. Complements the jalapeno and the beer really well. Brightness. So essentially you want your batter to be not overly thick, but just thick enough that it sticks to the back of a spoon. All right, now I have my cast iron pot here full of oil. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this, put it over the open flame. I'm just gonna make a quick aioli here uh, to go with the walleye. So I have my house staple, little bit of garlic aioli. I wouldn't leave home without it. Uh, and I just wanna beef that up a little bit. So I have this whole grain mustard. We're gonna go ahead and add some chopped chives. And just to reinforce a little bit of that orange, I'm just gonna go ahead in with a little orange zest to combine here. Delicious. It's gonna complement that fried fish so well. Okay, so we just wanna go ahead and check, see if our oil is hot enough to drop the fish in. Good way to test. Add a little pinch of flour. If it starts to sizzle and pop and cook immediately, baby, we are good to go. Just a quick dredge here on my walleye. Let some of that excess batter drip off. Key is making sure your oil is plenty hot. If your oil's not hot enough, essentially what it's gonna do is that batter is just gonna soak up the oil and it's gonna saturate that fish with the fat and it's not gonna get crispy. And it's not gonna be delicious. Perfectly golden brown. There's so much residual heat like in this batter and as it totally encrusts the fish that there's gonna be plenty of residual carryover heat. It's like combining all of my favorite things in life and I get to, you know, I get to deep fry fresh caught walleye from the Merritt Reservoir. It's just like, it's unbelievable. I like sometimes I just can't even believe I'm here. It's still snowing. It's still cold, and I fried fish on an open fire. Life is good. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time. Take care. Follow us on social media, all the usual suspects, where we share new tips, tricks, and recipes weekly of all my favorite dishes that I love to make at home. That's good beer.